about anything that comes into my head, really. Um, I don't know if anybody remembers the old ABC cinema in Warsaw. Um, it's a Poundland. Now it used to be a Woolies. I used to go there all the time as a kid. Um, great, great place. Did you cook food? No, no. Uh, my parents are here. Often after supper, taking me to terrible science fiction films there. <laughs> Dad remembers, definitely. Uh, <laughs> anyway, this is called the ABC cinema. I remember the old Warsaw ABC and how every week my friends and me would wait patiently in the cinema queue, laughing and joking and shivering until at last the doors were flung over from mine and clutching our pounds went racing side. I remember popcorn being eaten and shared, but more often fans stuck to the floors or chairs. Chairs that were held as it because if you're not one, you got covered in dust. We watched the same adverts week after week, showing Indian restaurants allegedly in the next street. Then despite our age, ads for cigarettes or beer, or many things we were just too young for yet. And before the film, we'd watch a public information short about public littering and how you never ought to drop your rubbish anywhere, except it seemed down the back of cinema chairs. If you're brave or rich, you might try the cinema food. Every time I saw it, I wasn't in the mood for a cinema hot dog that looked sweaty and limp, or an overpriced bag of dates of sweets out, out of date last week. I never fancied trying a cup of warm cola. It's a wonder we never got tetanus or Ebola. But as the film finished, we'd get up and leave, talking animatedly about what we'd just seen, and walk blinking into the street, two foot taller, due to popcorn stuck to our feet. And I knew that no matter how much I ran that city were down, I'd be back next week in the queue with me found. <laughs>